All right, so this is Jeff Lupac. They've been here since, I believe, 2012. Um, the last episode was City of Palms Park, where the Sox played prior to 2012. Um, and we've seen this condition that park is in at this point. But um, this is where they play now. It's been about, I can't believe it's been over 10 years now. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So we're going to check out a game playing the Braves. This is the last um, spring training game here in Florida. The Red Sox leave, and they go play uh, two games in Arlington, Texas against the Rangers at their stadium. They don't count. They're just preseason games. And then they open up on the road on Thursday night or Thursday afternoon in Seattle. And we'll be there on Saturday. So stay tuned for that. Yes. off so we've got stuff for the kids and I got myself a t-shirt so not too shabby but there's not much left there for uh, stuff to get but I really like the hat you can wear it for a good lot of time and Charlotte will she'll enjoy the uh, onesie when she can so we'll just go back up we're gonna walk over to the bullpen section and uh, see if we can see the view lines from over there It'll be a little different than we did last night the rest of the game and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of walk around Premier one last time before we call it a day here at Jeff Blue Park. And um, almost uh, wrapping up about 36 hours here at 40 in Fort Myers. So not too shabby. Thank you. The new shirt is and the new first place of the Berm section. It's not a bad place for kids to run around at the time and everything like that. Views um, are a little obstructive, as you've seen with some of the video before that we have in the bullpen. I mean, you get closer, you get very close to those bullpens. I mean, you're seeing real life baseball players feet away from you. So that is very cool. Um, and 
and I don't even care about any other pucks. I kind of like that. I know some of you are hanging over. Just be careful. But that's a pretty cool feature for this puck too. So it kind of sucks with baseball play stuff. So you should be yelling at the entire game. But uh, it's not. It's, it's good. It's not bad. So I do um, appreciate all the Boston advertisements here because there's no 99s here for highest, but there's definitely 99 sign out there in uh, left field. And actually, if you look behind me, you can see there's actually some players practicing over there too. So. You gotta remember, it's the last game of spring training. Rosters have been made. Some of these guys are going to Texas. Some of these guys are going to Worcester. Some of these guys are going to Salem. Some of these guys are going to Greenville. And uh, then the season starts Thursday. Right here. This is it. Last day of practice, basically, down here in Florida. So, I'm gonna have to probably check out a few more things around this park that I can find. And we're also gonna call it a day. We do, if you are watching this on the 36 hours in Fort Myers video, we got one more, two more stops to go. If you're watching this on the baseball channel, it's almost over. But it is kind of cool when you see a jet blue plane take off over jet blue buck. Pretty cool. So if you're taking off a Southwest region on your certain runway, sit on the left side of the plane. And if you look out the window, you see jet blue pockets to take off. Defensively for the Braves, Landon Stevens is in right. Keyshawn Ogilvy's. <laughs> That's it. That's it for spring training. We'll see you guys next year. I got the JetBlue tail, which I think is like a giant sundial. If it isn't, it should be. Should have done that because that would be really cool. I'm going to be wing sundial. Uh, people are lined up over there. That's where the Braves are going to be exit out. Let's we'll take a little stroll through, I guess you could say, JetBlue's version of Monument Park. Um, it has all the retired numbers. A little story about the guys. We're going to do that right now. Okay. You can name who all the players are about looking on the cheat. Leave your comments below. Let me know if you know who all these numbers are. There's a lot of them. Red Sox Fiaz didn't really retire a lot of numbers. And then all of a sudden, they had a surplus. My opinion. There's one number in this green tie. That's Roger Clemens' number. Sorry. He should be in the Hall of Fame too. In my personal opinion, Roger Clemens should be retired. But, nevertheless, one of these days it should happen. I just did it in reverse. Let's do it forward. And you guys can comment below on who these numbers are. So thank you for watching. Please leave your comments below. And uh, from live from JetBlue Park for the last time for anyone here in 2024. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, hopefully, when we're down here next year for the 2025 season, uh, we're celebrating a championship. 
Not holding my breath. Judging by the roster this year, it doesn't look good. But you never know. 2004, I was down here. I didn't know what was going to happen. So you just don't know. But thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. And we'll see you guys soon. Unless you're watching this on 36 hours in film and Fort Myers video. We got one more stop to go. So, so two more stops. You've got the airport. So the last stop was at the Fort Myers Brewery. I've been here once before. I mean, Sue came at night, but yeah, it's an hour to kill, so check this out. And uh, have a few beers, grab a t-shirt, do what we gotta do. So this will be the last stop after this. We're heading to the airport, back to Boston. And uh, I think we did a lot. We squeezed, squeezed a lot in 36 hours, so I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, right? Where's the people's top of the creek? Best part of a Fort Myers brewery is when you're using the men's room, you're actually in the brewery. So I'm not sure if I can film some of this, but all of that, you can hear that? That's the sound of beer being made right here in the Fort Myers brewery. This is pretty cool. So when you're here, use the men's room. Even if you don't have to, just check what's going on here. That's pretty cool. All right, so that's Fort Myers brewery. Pretty cool. Sue and I came couple of years ago and uh, it was cold nights so the doors were closed but I gotta say if you come during the day they take over the parking lot it's pretty cool so I got myself a t-shirt coaster for the collection um, had both eat little sample beers on the flight so it was good it was a good time so and I'm looking at my car right now and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it out it is sandwiched in between two cars but I'm off to the airport to fly back to Boston. It's like 80 degrees today here in Fort Myers. And uh, it's probably about 30 degrees up in Boston. So not looking forward to that flight. Or looking forward to the flight, not looking forward to getting off the flight. Um, but we will continue this at the airport because there's this place, if you're not familiar with Southwest Regional, there's a place called um, Bacardi's and it's in Terminal D. And uh, it's a little overpriced, but they get these nachos that really so I think we're going to get that. And uh, actually, I'm not that box then. So it is the shit box right there. Not too bad. But <laughs> can't put this fucking car. If I get hit by someone, I'm going to die. But uh, all right, let's get going. Well, this is it. Got the bag, rental car, drop off. Heading to the terminal, back on the flight. We got about three hours to kill at the airport, but I think I'm gonna have myself a couple of beverages and have a nice nap on the flight home tonight. Because I won't be home till, well, I won't be getting to Boston till after 12, and then uh, probably won't be until about one o'clock. So, with that said, I'll get a few hours of sleep. And I'll be up at seven tomorrow. So, great time. Not a bad trip. Actually, I spent more money than I should have, but I did a few extra things that I was going to have to kind of spoil myself a little bit. But I worked my ass off all week long, so it's up. But this is doable. I was kind of apprehensive about flying on a Saturday morning instead of Friday night. But it's all the same, because by the time I got done with everything, it was noontime anyways. I wouldn't be waking up until 10 o'clock anyways on a Saturday, so... It's all good. So I might have to do this a couple more times. Um, it's, I got it all done in 36 hours. So, all good. All right, so we're gonna go through security, get on the plane, and that will conclude 36 hours and four miles. And uh, please subscribe, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. This is a little bit longer of a video because I split some parts off for the baseball vlog, but I put it all together for this vlog for you guys. So. Enjoy, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Have a good one. Ooh, All right, that's where we end the video. It's a Lego store in the Fort Myers Mall, but they didn't really have anything that was like different than it would be anywhere else. But um, whatever, interesting. <laughs> I went there to see if there's anything cool in there, but there's nothing there. So, all right, this is where we end the video. 40, 36,000 Fort Myers, success. We met some cool people. Seen a couple games. Everything's good. Seen my grandmother. 
and everything's good. Everything's good. So um, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.